So let f be a field, p of x, an irreducible polynomial in f adjoint x. So again, we're, we're starting off with something that's irreducible in f adjoint x. Then we create the extension field, so f adjoint x mod p of x. So this is an extension field of f, and now it's going to contain a root of p of x. So this is what we're going to prove. Jumping over to my, my workspace here. So let's let k be this extension field. So k is going to be f adjoint x mod p of x, just because k is a lot easier to say. Then, well, k is an extension field. of f. So let's let p of x have the following form. So p of x will say is equal to some a n x to the power of n plus all the way down to a 1 x plus a naught. And of course in this case since this is starting off in f adjoint x the the coefficients the a sub i's these are an element of f and since they're an element of f, they're also an element of k. So let's let alpha, alpha is going to be equal to the congruence class of x mod p. And of course, this is inside of k. Now, what we're going to show is so we will show that alpha is a root of p of x. Now, again, remember what I said, p of x was irreducible in the field we originally started with, but we're building this extension field, so we're going to be showing it is going to be reducible in this larger field. So we're going to show that alpha is a root of p of x. So by the definition, of congruence, um, congruence class uh, arithmetic in k, we have the following. So I have an a n alpha to the n. So all we're doing at this point to the polynomial, I'm just substituting for x, I'm substituting an alpha, and again, I want to be able to show that alpha is in fact a root. So alpha to the n plus all the way down to a1 alpha plus a naught. Now remember, I said alpha was equal to the congruence class of x modulo p. So I'm just substituting that in. So this is a n x to the n plus, again, all the way down, a 1 x plus a naught. And as we, we've shown beforehand, what we can do is we can distribute the a n inside of that congruence class. So this is actually, um, and then add everything together. So we group in the multiplication, we group in the addition. So what this is equal to is now, instead of each term, it's just going to be one term. So this is now the congruence class of a n x to the n, plus again, all the way down, a 1 x plus a naught. Now this, well, this is just, by our definition again, this is just p of x. And again, this is mod p, so mod itself, which is just going to give us zero. So therefore, again, all we've done is we've substituted in alpha 
So substituting an alpha, alpha an element of k, is a root of p of x. So alpha wasn't inside of f, but alpha is inside of k, and alpha is now a, a root of something that was beforehand irreducible.